What is up, everybody? What is up? Dude, Wabi Shrimp in the lab. Fucking everyone. Oh, the, the, the homies rocking up. Let's go. Let's just fucking go. How are you guys doing? Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Mountaintop is my probably... I, I was originally Edge Transit was my number one, but then they ner they're nerfing the Cascade thing. So Mountaintop is now my number one weapon I'm excited for. Um... In this update, hundred percent, and uh, it's gonna—it's just like, man, I want the perfect one. I want the perfect mountaintop, the perfect mountaintop. Okay, and we're fucking going, and it has to be shiny. If it's not shiny, I do not fucking care. I do not want it. Get it out of my face. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let's go. Is the loot actually dropping? Because I ran two 10 waves and I got no drops. Uh, I haven't heard anything about loot not dropping. Let's talk about my perfect mountaintop. Let's go. And Wobby and Shrimp, feel free feel free to step in. Feel free to step in and, and, and talk some sense into me here. Okay? The thing with mountaintop is there's two ideals for mountaintop, right? The one I am most excited for is like a general use mountaintop. Mountaintop, so right now you guys know, my go-to loadout is Fatebringer, Forbearance, Eager Edge Sword, right? And uh, Fatebringer is just like a general use weapon, whatever. I guess kind of like single target damage your, your majors and shit, whatever. Um, but the, the, the thing that ties the build together is your forbearance with the ad clear. But I think if you do like a mountaintop and sunshot or like a mountaintop Iglos eager edge, I, it, it pushes everything over the top. Uh, so I really, I, I'm really wanting some like general utility out of this. Um, and so it, it, it comes down to a couple things. I think impulse amplifier is going to be like just pretty fucking crazy. Um in general for general use i also definitely want lead from gold right so both of these uh i don't know what that what's this mean what's the minus mean i don't even fucking know what that means oh does it mean it changes stats i have no idea what that means impulse amplifier definitely want um lead from gold i want as a utility switch recombination's really good for like dps rotations i think Look, a lot of people are going to want Frenzy, but the reality is, I mean, check this out. Almost max reload already. Uh, what else does Frenzy do? Where did Frenzy go? Am I stupid? Yeah, there there it is. 15% uh, damage, whatever. Uh, a lot more handling, a lot more reload. I'm not really too bothered about those. I think you take the, the guaranteed 15 from Vorpal. Um, Harmony is also uh very good so harmony i might play around with i don't know real realistically like how often i switch weapons though thinking of my gameplay um and then uh one of these is uh handling and reload speed uh right no probably go with uh quick launch I mean, it pretty much maxes everything out. Plus, Impulse has the bonus, uh, the the reload modifier down there at the bottom. So I don't really know if that maxes out reload speed or not. Um, and then um, either handling mass rate, but not blast radius, either handling to go ahead and max that out. Either handling to max that out or velocity, but impulse amplifier does is that uh, is that reflected on this? So impulse amplifier is not reflected on velocity. So definitely handling master work then. Um, I don't know what enhanced impulse amplifier does. I don't know what enhanced vorpal weapon does. Did I just get to DC? What? Uh, but I'm. This is like, this is how I'm feeling. I have a shiny edge transit with mini frags, envious bait and switch. Should I keep going or start focusing mountaintops? What was your masterwork? 
what's your master work on that bad boy? And what's your um did you get a uh, quick launch on it? Enhanced impulse is five. Reload. Okay, well, I mean, that pretty much maxes out your reload anyways. Uh, would one for all be a, f a good option? Uh, no. I Look, I, I'm i a certified one for all hater. I do not. I, I have never once ever looked at a gun and been like, I definitely want one for all on this. I know there are people that like it on like LMGs and shit. I think there is always something better than one for all. I don't know how popular of an opinion that is, but one for all, it's, it is very uncommon for me to be like, bloop, 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 you know, especially something you got to reload every time. Like you pretty much have to hit three targets with one shot to get that boost. Eh, not really my favorite. Uh, if that's how you play, you could probably make an argument for it. I think lead from gold for me is a must have on this weapon. I will also keep a damage rotation weapon that has auto loading lead from gold and recombination as well. I think would be very powerful for uh, quick rotations. Um, something like A-Track, something like that. Uh, but it's, that's a hard one uh, because like how, realistically, when are you gonna use this in damage rotations? Why would I not just use this in Augies? As, as a certified Izzy stan, why would I use this over Izzy's? That's pretty unrealistic, but I'll keep one if I get one. Reload mass work. Reload mass work for me is a is a no start. So, uh, quick launch spike, spike nades, uh, impulse four pull handling mass work. Yeah, that's exactly what I have. That's exactly what I have um, as well, shrimp. So I'm I'm feeling pretty good about this as well. Um, and then you know like probably uh, I usually would run like uh, major spec on something like this. Um, what does Enhanced Vorpal do? Does anyone know what Enhanced Vorpal does? I thought this site showed Enhanced Perks. Does it not? Enhanced Vorpal Weapon Destiny. I think I found it. Uh, so enhanced looks like it adds plus five stability or guard resistance. Are you fucking kidding me? What a shit perk. <laughs> what, a, what a garbage enhanced, hello? Why is, Vor Vorpal might be the worst enhanced in the entire game, that's fucked. Um. I don't like Frenzy, I'm gonna be honest. I think Impulse Amplifier gives you the reload that you need. I, it, Cause remember, Impulse Amplifier not only makes your shot faster for velocity, it also adds 20 reload speed and gives you a 0.85 modifier to your reload as well because it's a GL, right? So I don't think you have to worry about reloading at all. And that's pretty much the only additional benefit that Frenzy has. And it has, it, it has, it, it is a, um, you know, like a limited, you're not always in combat and it's still only 15% damage. Whereas Vorpal has no activation and this is a special weapon, so it's always 15%. So I think my, in my opinion, uh, if you're going frenzy, I wouldn't personally. I mean, you go for what you want, obviously, but I think, I think you can activate the same exact conditions with Impulse and Vorpal. Uh, frenzy plus six handling. I'm sorry, what? Oh, fr uh, are you saying, are you saying that Frenzy has plus six handling? Um, uh, I do like auto loading, but I still think like, I mean, your reload on this is gonna be non-existent. I, I, if I get an impulse amplifier, I'll test this, but I like, I feel like your reload on this with this because this boosts reload and scales your reload as well i think it's just gonna it's like gonna be non-existent i think you're gonna hit the reload cap so 
I'm not too worried about it. We'll check it. You know, there will be testing done, obviously. I'm not, I haven't used it yet. I haven't farmed one yet. I, I'm not going to go into this assuming that this is necessarily absolutely the fucking goaded role. But this is, this is definitely the role I'm going for. But I will say, like, I am pretty, uh, ooh. Oh, it's not shiny. Fuck it. I do not keep non-shiny weapons. What do I look like? A nerd? Okay. Uh, lead from gold, I think, is going to be incredibly important on this. Um, just as, like, a general use weapon. Uh, I, uh, in terms of, like, having it to switch to, um, to help the ammo economy, I think. Lead from gold in my, is one of my favorite perks. I think is one of the most underrated perks in the entire game. Um, so... Maybe adrenaline. I don't really use grenade perks that much. I know people really like the uh, demolitionist adrenaline stuff, but uh, typically not what I go for on these on these weapons. Uh, the shaders of blaze, I think. Yeah, blaze. A blaze. School. Have no social so. Auto frenzy. Oh, I see. I'm I'm really not sold on auto loading. Maybe I like, you know, if I get that, I'll keep it. You know what I mean? Um, we're gonna go do these perks or these quests real quick. Uh, starting with the mountaintop one, because with forbearance, I'm gonna be able to fucking get right there. Uh, the world. The way does forbearance count as a breach load? I mean, it is technically a breach load, but I don't know if it counts as a breach load. Yes, it does. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Uh, shrimpy boy, you got that, uh, you got that good shirochi shit? Shrimp, is shrimp on that? Does shrimp have that shirochi pack? Um, I don't know, David. I will bring you Sag. <laughs> Shrimp, Shrimp's the goat. Lead me, Guardian. Are you ready to deploy? Um, but maybe, like I said, if I get an auto loading holster one and frenzy one, or or I don't know, like the <sighs> dude, frenzy is such a one of those perks that I get so nervous about because you have to be in combat for twelve seconds. Um, and that means you have to have received or dealt damage. Being in combat is that every five seconds. Uh, and so it's like, if I'm like speed running or whatever, or I kill everything and then there's like a boss spawn anima animation or something. Secrets. Like if a boss, there's so many instances in this game where like a boss a spawns, voices. but before the boss spawns, there's the like 10 seconds of nothing. And so Frenzy's just not deep. active. You and know what I mean? That that sort of situation is what it's like. Because this is my primary use weapon. I'm using this in, in normal questing, in strikes. You know, I'm not really bringing this necessarily into raids. Um, that sort of thing. I don't I don't think Mountaintop will be... Uh, uh, thank you, Shrimp. Um, I don't think Mountaintop will be like a, a goaded damage rotation weapon. I think it has potential, but once again, like unless Izzy gets nerfed or something, I don't know why. I, I don't really have any other... I don't have any exotics that I really bring in a damage rotation. Um, so I would just use Izzy's normally, you know what I mean? Unless I'm like Div Guy. If I'm Div Guy, my primary doesn't matter. If, uh, if I'm Galley Guy, that's very rare. So... And a three-second damage phase is probably best on slot. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Something like Atrax, I think it, it would be really good for. But even with Atrax, like, does a recombination sh mountaintop shot do more damage than a times four Izzy's? You know? I, I am hard-pressed to believe that it does. If it does, sure. But they take the same amount of time to shoot, right? One Izzy shot, one mountaintop shot. Th those are identical windows of time, you know? So, uh, the only the only instance I see me using Mountaintop in a damage rotation is if I'm using a, an exotic elsewhere. 
Uh, and so if I get one, I'll keep it. But the one that I'm farming for is purely a replacement for forbearance. Mountaintop and a uh, worm hunger 20. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a, that's a really, really solid point. Yeah, something like that. That'd be kind of goaded too, huh? That would be kind of sick. That's a that's a that's a good shout. How often do we use worms? You know, um, but yeah, that's a that's a fucking good shout though. Maybe good for someone on G Horn. Uh, potentially. Chemo's usually our G Horn guy. Um. Kimo's also not really, a, uh, he doesn't really do like uh, uh, damage swaps and stuff. I guess for this, you wouldn't really have to. You just have to shoot one shot. I, be I bet we can tell him that. But even then, right? Like a lot of times, if you're like a galley guy, just put your galley guy on uh, Warden's Law, right? And so you just have a lucky pants hunter Warden's Law that just shoots a galley occasionally and you can make that work. So it's like, you know, you can probably make arguments for it, but I don't. I don't really see a scenario other than the worm. The the worm's a really good shout, shrimp. Other than that, I don't know where mountain top fits in best best in slot. Um, will adept paper be enhanceable in final shape? As far as I'm aware, no. The only stuff that we have now that will be enhanceable is anything from the march weapons on. I got my friend in Destiny last month. I asked him if he's been liking. He said, yeah, but since all the DLCs are on sale, I bought them for him. Oh, fuck. God damn, dude. I wish I had a friend then. My wife wouldn't even do that shit for me. What the fuck? You're a better friend than my wife is. <laughs> Blinding on Mountaintop would be so cool. No, please. I mean, look, look, man. No. <laughs> but... <laughs> Blinding GLs are already so broken and... The one thing they're missing is like their single target damage. Yeah. And like think about that in Crucible. Like, let's let's just not. Man. I'll be a better friend than your wife, not financially. <laughs> oh man. I will tell you what, shrimp. I've ne my my wife has never fried rice. I will say that. And I'm a big fan of because of uh because of her peanut allergy, she's not a huge fan of like Thai food or a lot of Asian food. So even even if something like, you know, fried rice doesn't have peanuts in it typically, she we just don't eat it a lot. I eat it, you know, I go to Thai with my friends at like for lunch and stuff, but Victoria and I don't really eat Thai food together. Or I'd say like the only like Asian continent food that we eat together Indian food? We love Indian food. Um, let me go, let me look at a map of Asia real quick. I'm trying to, we don't, I mean, it's like a lot of these places as well, a lot of these countries, like I, what does Russian food look like? Is it just potatoes? Like, I don't, I don't fucking know. I love me some Vietnamese. I love me some Thai food. Um, I couldn't tell you what any of these other countries like cuisine looks like. I have no idea. I would love to learn though. <laughs> you know, no one's going to use mount top and PVE, right? Is that like a... Is that like a... Are you trying to bait me? Or... Are you... Guardian rank 4? Or like what's... I don't know what you want from me with that statement. That's a... Like... That statement's not passing the vibe check, my friend. That has to be a troll, right? I think it, I think it has to be a troll. Notice my lighting was bad. My bad. 
off topic but i just got uh, back from seeing death clock uh dragon force and necro goblin last night and it was an amazing show dude that's sick those are like the uh you know the 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 old school like guitar hero era uh bands like i i don't think death clock and necro goblin were ever on um uh, 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 guitar hero but like in that in that like adult swim you know era you know my uh, pretty much my childhood is what i'm trying to say so that, that's a sick show can i send you a meme oh fucking god the fact that mount top is a mobility creature is just an added bonus man it's so fun it's gonna be so good Saying that no one's gonna use it is actually just like, you're uninformed. <laughs> like, I don't know what else you want from me, man. Fuck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Another lab meme is the best meme. Oh. I need others with brain rot to farm wilder flights. Yeah, good fuck. <laughs> That shit ain't happening, dog. Oh, I'm so excited. I farmed. Is there a, like an emblem tracker to see how much onslaught you've done or something? I have farmed an ungodly amount of onslaught chat like i i'm at 13 rng shinies am i on the clock for onslaught farms if you want to i was, I was just gonna kind of buy but if you want to farm man i'm down I, you know 10 farms are so fucking easy like i don't if you want to hang out we can if you don't want to you don't have to it's up to you man uh farm the kills on onslaught normal it's faster uh I'm just kidding. I'm like two runs away. It's fine. Ten farms make you want to die? They're so chill, though. They're just, they're just big chilling, you know? Onslaught's boring? You're crazy, dude. You and uh, that guy that said no one's going to use Mount Top need to have a, have a wrong on. Yeah, yeah, we have a we have a German restaurant near us that we go to sometimes. Uh, pretty good. We, uh, and, you know, like a classic beer garden thing. Uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I like uh, you know I'm a big schnitzel fan personally. Did you solve false run? No, <laughs> I've soloed it like ten times. Did I do it flawlessly? No. Am I going to? No. It broke me. Uh, it broke me emotionally. I think. I think I am. Uh, I want to stay a in love with this game, and I have more important things to do right now. You know what I mean? Like uh, anything but that. Did you say you don't like schnitzels? I literally just said I'm a huge schnitzel fan. I literally, like, literally the opposite of that, lab. I once heard, lab, and you'll have to tell me if this is wrong, but in the Netherlands, I heard that people eat onions like they're apples. Is that true? Do you partake in this? You just pick up a white onion and you just crunch it? And you use the skins for, like, soup or something? <laughs> I once did that on a dare. Just took a fucking bite out of an onion. Um, that was like when I was like 14 or 15 and I still taste it to this day. <laughs> See ya, Susa. Thanks for hanging out. Amazing shirt. Thank you. I'm hoping we get uh, new music this year. It's been too long. Fuck, I need to raw onion right now. 
I saw a person take a bite out of a raw potato. Isn't that like, I think raw potato is like bad for you though. Am I making that up? I, I think, uh, I believe I'm not making that up. Welcome to Horror Wars Slab, dude, it's so fucking good. It's so good. My favorite album of all time, personally. Personally, I'm a little biased since I fucking love everything that Ink does, but. Um, oh, I'm just gonna do this and fucking, I'll just do this with one shot. Okay, okay. Mountain top. Do I have any tokens to spend right off the rip? No, I'm not gonna do that. I've been trying to restrain myself from spending all my tokens on the chest. And I've been trying to finish my armor sets. When I was 17, I tried to take two shots of balsamic vinegar on a bed, and that shit came right back up. Wait, really? This is like the cinnamon challenge. I feel like I could do it. I feel like I could do it. Why? What's wrong with balsamic vinegar? What is it? I feel like I could, I could tank a balsamic vinegar shot, dude. I kind of want to go get some and try it. <laughs> I really, I, you have me intrigued. Hmm. Oh, it's just because you don't like vinegar? Oh, I fuck with vinegar, dog. Lab. Is this, can I play this on stream? It's a fucking Lilo and Stitch meme, which means there's there's a 50% chance this is against TOS. Look, I'm almost done with my, is it the same too? 60, uh, 140, that's not bad. Yes, it's safe for work, okay. Nani. Oh, yeah. Look. The witness is coming. Oh, fuck off, dude. Are you serious? I thought this was a fucking lab classic, dude. I overestimated your meme ability. God damn it. Why can't those rookies in the crucible be more like fucking you? lab, dude? <laughs> I thought he was gonna say, the witness is coming. <laughs> oh, the witness is coming, what a slap, dude. Lab, you gotta make, you gotta make one of those. Oh man. The gear Fuck, I just got gold. Are you serious right now? God roll? God roll? Lead from gold, one from. Like. With a reload masterwork? Are you serious? Someone looked at this and went, yeah, that's a banger curated roll. Get that out of my inventory. No, thank you. That's just disrespectful. Is there a light on mine? No. Actually, disrespectful. I want to do a GM with me and Shrimp. Uh... Uh, it's Warden's Law, right? Double loot. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll do a GM. I'll, I'll rock a GM. I'll rock a GM. Fuck it. Who's ready to watch me throw a GM on purpose? This is gonna be so fucking funny. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You gotta have this, you gotta have this right. Yo, that one guy, how you doing, buddy? All right, let's do it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Drip setup, I'll show you the drip setup. It's kind of normal. I wanted to, I wanted to play into the solar theme a little bit. Uh, is there Gambit, fuck that, no, no. What? Farm, do these at uh fucking, do these at 
Shirochi. That's two free weapons, like, immediately, by the way. Uh, okay, I'll join you now. Sorry. Sorry for the delay, fellas. What shader do you use on your ship? Same one on, on this ship. I'm, I'm actually going to switch back to, like, a cooler ship. You know what ship I used to rock on my Warlock that I don't know why I don't rock anymore? This is always my Warlock ship. <laughs> you gotta flex on them Guardian Rank 2s. Goodbye. What the fuck is Outrageous Fortune? Is it actually overcharged TL, by the way? This whole time I thought Edge Transit was fucking solar. I don't know why I thought that. I haven't looked at Edge Transit once and now I feel dumb. Uh, void. Okay. Can, does this shade, by the way? No. Best trans man in the game? Factually. Wormy boy. Just did four uh, full legend onslaughts and got zero gold weapons. I would highly recommend... Um, let's solar search! Bruh! What are you doing? I'll just fucking use this. It's no, it's solar search. Why would you have me switch? Bruh. Shrimp equals bot. <laughs> I said, fuck it, I'm on frying your rice. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God, no way. Did you make this already? Guardian, my forces report that Shadow Legion units are shifting. Nani. Uh, yeah. Look. The witness is coming. <laughs> Let's go. Let's fucking go. You made that so fast, Lab. You made that so fast. Oh my fucking god. The witness is coming. Uh, what Midnight Coup roll are you looking for? Uh, that's a good question. I'm gonna be honest. Putting Midnight Coup in the title was a, a little, a little bit of SEO optimization. A little bit of clickbait. Because personally, not really excited for Mountaintop at all. I, like, I'll tip... Wait, uh, Midnight Coup. I'm, wait, did I say Mountain Top? I'm very excited for Mountain Top. What the fuck? I'm not excited for Midnight Coup. I'll, if I get a decent one, I'll fucking hold on to it. But like... I think I, I think I said the wrong one. I said, I'm very excited for Mountain Top. I'm not excited for Midnight Coup. I'll take it. Like, it's cool to have back and shit. It's just a better Fatebringer. Yeah, and I think Fatebringer's dead content now. Like, if I can... The only reason I was using Fatebringer is because Forbearance was peak, right? And I just needed something to round out. But now, Forbearance ain't peak anymore. You know? It's Mountaintop's peak. And now I need an ad clear primary weapon. Sunshot, Luna's, Eichelos. And he's just... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. If, I mean, look, Mountaintop like ruined everything I was excited for. Okay, I was excited for Tusk of the Boar, Mountaintop ruined that. I was excited for Midnight Coup, Mountaintop ruined that, okay? Like, 
blame mountain top man it's it's bungie for bringing back just something that is so disgustingly overpowered that it breaks things uh it, it power creeps things in in multiple weapon slots that's not on me man goodbye it's not on me i'm sorry man i'm sorry They'll say forbearance isn't peak and then try to do solo ghost of the deep with mountain top. Uh I I streamed did I is that I don't want to say anything like stupid, but I don't think I soloed Ghost of the Deep with Forbearance, and I'm like literally Forbearance kit, bro. Someone pull that up and review my footage. Did I solo Ghost of the Deep with Forbearance? I really don't think I did. Taken a relentless, especially under the witnesses. Bro, Wobby is a big troll. Would be led double special. I'm gonna die. What, dude? Wobby is the big meanie pants. Big meanie pants, Wobby. Um, I think my Neku might be very good in PvP though. It is this. It is stickier than your mom was. <laughs> she fell into a bad of adhesive. Okay, get your mind out of the gutter. Weirdos. Oh, kill stole. I got three shiny edge transfers, so of course all three were dog shit. That's rough. That's big rough. How did your mother fall into a bad piece? Not mine, your mother. I wouldn't say that's an accident. I think that's a fun little. <laughs> that's such a goaded meme. If Lab like actually posted good meme content on his Twitter, he would be like, he'd be the meme guy. You'd be a better forcer, man. Cut. You're. You'd be like forcer without the uh, without the Destiny one, like circle jerk content. You know what I mean? That's pretty much just lab in a, no, in a nutshell. Super, nah, supers are for nerds. <laughs> Jesus Christ, why'd they give this fucker so much health? Come on, die. Remember when Shrimp, like, told me to put this shit on? Because he's a bad friend. <laughs> Tormentor's in the top three for running for worst design enemy in Destiny. It's a... I, I like the design of Tormentor's. The gameplay of fighting Tormentors is pretty pain. I'm not gonna lie. I think design-wise, and I mean, look, if if Bungie's goal was to make a super annoying, terrifying enemy, they fucking balled out. But uh, Tormentors are... Uh, they're an experience, for sure. I'm using the uh, pay-to-win shader Ablaze from Eververse. The name Tormentors are awful. The name, the normal ones are fine. Uh, with the except, I think Nezrax's chill. He can. Um, Nezzy's cool. All the yeah, all the other named ones, like the yellow bar boss ones, are they're fucking holy shit. You don't like Briggs? I think Briggs are fine. I wish Briggs had a smaller crit point when you didn't blow their face masks off. I don't like enemies that don't have crit points. Um, so 
Scorn Torch guys. Scorn Torch guys. The Chieftains? Oh, the Torch. Uh, the They actually carry the Torches. The uh, Ravagers, I think they're called. If Nizarek was chill, you would have sold the raid. I did solo the raid. Like, multiple, multiple, multiple times. In fact, I will not let you take that away from me. Can we get an Overload Tormentor? I would be very surprised. Like, I think it'll probably be... Because um... usually, like, their their champions are, like, the top two units. So, I, Tormentors definitely fit into that. But Tormentors almost feel like an exception. Like, they... They are... They seem like the special units, right? Like... You never have, like, the, uh, like, Cyclopses, Cyclops Eye aren't, uh, there's no, they're not champions. Oh my god, what price? I fucking destroy it. Um, so it'll probably be the, the big staffy boy. And, uh... The attendant? Is that what they're called? Attendant? Or attendant and weaver are the small ones. Insurrectioner. What's the what's the fucking what's the staffy boy called? It'll probably be them and uh, the hus. Is there a bigger? I'm I'm really struggling to subjugator. Thank you, subjugator and the hus. Probably. Uh, I have not checked out the new mount up yet. We were 10 in on science, that's what I thought. Why, hello? I'm just vibing. How you doing? Guardian down. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you should stick to Sparrow flying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Guardian down. Oh, I thought he died again! <laughs> oh, no. Not the hair routine stuff again. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, remember, guys. My, uh... Uh, my giveaway did it end today is it over oh wait okay you got eight hours what what URL for this brother. Sorry, yeah, I'll be right there. I know, 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 I know. Aha! All right, if you want to enter for my final shape collector's edition giveaway, go click that link. Go click that link. It's very simple. Where the fuck is Wobby? What? What is happening? I do not have overlook. I have to. I have to post this on Twitter. I forgot.
guy, sorry. Guardian down. Sorry, I just read about that real quick. Uh, what is overload? There we go. Stun him. Oh, I thought he missed. Okay, we're good. Alt favor time, uh, Titan look. Uh, it's pretty much the one I always use. It's, uh... Trials of the Nine ornament for the chess piece. Season of the Dawn. I'm literally the fucking greatest. Season of the Dawn helmet. Um, Phoenix cradle boots. Uh, the solstice arms with the white glows. And there's a variety of marks I really like. I really like the... Um, the Curious mark, I think, is awesome. The matching mark. Oh my god. If we'd waited any longer, this would have been much worse. Yeah. I don't even want to think about that. I think this strike is uh, very good, by the way. People hate on this strike a lot. And I don't know if it's just like aesthetically peel appealing and that's that's the only reason it um Bro Shrimp, you're really feeding them our reses right now, by the way. I and I, I don't know if uh it's just aesthetically different and appealing and so it's like refreshing to be in or what, but I, I do really like this strike. Even if I'm kinda of throwing right now, where we've been in here a long time. There's an overload up top. You looking forward to a GL meta? Yeah, I, I think we're already in kind of a soft GL meta. Like, I, I think, uh, I mean, there are definitely scenarios where GLs are better than Rockets, right? So. Torment. Why are you just not telling us? There is no hair routine video, bro. There's no hair routine. Just record me explaining that, and then there's your fucking video. You hate me, that's so toxic. Oh shit. I feel like this was like a bad well spot. So I'm gonna embrace it. They asked me to do Jin. I'm gonna be doing Shiny Pumps here soon. I literally didn't say I'd make a video at 100k. I don't have a hair routine. I don't know how to like. I don't know what to explain to you. You just want me to make a video lying to you? Is that what you want? Oh Jesus! Oh fuck! I'm dead. Oh my God! Wobby or shrimp? Oh Wobby came in fucking clutch there. That was that was fucking huge.
Bob and weave, Bob and weave. Some nerds. Yo, thank you for the sub, Mike. Appreciate your face. Yo, Lindsay, thank you for the sub. Can't do my Scarrow cosplay. Jesus Christ, oh my god. I'm being like fucking wrecked right now. No, uh, zero hour is uh, in uh, March, the first Tuesday of March. March 2nd or whatever it is. Or March 6th. Of May, 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 of May. Thank you, sorry. Too many M months. Hmm. You know, I would have had overload if Shrimp didn't tell me to put on a fucking grenade launcher, dude. Just throwing that out there. Put mod on Geo? Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't. I don't even know how we do this. We just fucking push the boss or what? Did Wobby leave? Wobby, uh, can you join back? Thank you for the 20 months. Got my first, uh, got roll first try from Shaq's auto loading harmony. I'm trying to get sticky nade version for speeds as well. Yes, I do want uh, sticky nades. I want sticky spike. I'm not doing it. Just, I, I want, I'm going to find, farm shinies. I'm already committed to doing this with chemo later. Ugh, I just want mountaintop, bro. No, I don't want, I really don't want to, man. I really don't want to. I really, 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 I cannot stress this enough. Do not want to. I want to go farm my fucking weapons. So I'm going to farm my weapons. I want it. Now we play the game. First try? No way. First try. 
perfect time to watch a meme. Did you send me a fucking another one of those? Oh, gee. 25 seconds long, lab? If, the, okay. If this says, hey guys, Rick Hack is here, I'm gonna lose my mind. Whether we wanted it or not, <laughs> okay. we've stepped into a war with the Cabal on Mars. So let's get to taking out their command, one by one. Valus to Arik. From what I can... Okay, I will just say one, one error on this. Technically, his, the vinyl is still, still spinning, even when his mouth is closed. So the audio should technically continue. You know what I mean? It should still progress. Can we get it with not that one? Yes, that's actually the, that's a good shrimp idea. It's also not the only way to farm brave weapons. Uh, for, for the most part, yeah. You can, like, do the bounties every week from our site and stuff, but, I mean, like, effectively farm them? Yeah, on site. Alright, who's ready for me to get shiny mountain top first try, by the way? You can hit the chest for weapons, yeah, but the the chest still requires you to farm onslaught though, because that's how you get tokens. Yo, Cap, what's up? Oh no, you can get tokens from not onslaught actually, can't you? They come from uh, where do all the tokens come from? Because people were farming Cali for them, right? I haven't done any other activity, I don't think, except for this, since the update dropped. Surely that can't be true. I don't think I've done any Crucible. I genuinely don't know if I've completed, like Whisper, I did Whisper. Oh, Sector's too. Okay, yeah, so I guess technically you can farm anything. Got them from Coil, okay. Legend 10 is just the way. Oh, Legend 10. Uh, yeah, because this way, look, it takes me 10 minutes to do uh, approximately 10 minutes um, to do 10 waves. And then I get, you know, two weapons plus, you know, seven or eight tokens per, per run, somewhere in there, depending on bonus waves and such. Um, this is just, it's just so much faster. Your weapon per second meter is so much higher. Uh, just farming 10 wave onslaught. Not necessarily the best thing in the world, but. It's the best, you best weapon percentage you. for sure. Good. Hmm, I'm pulling heavy. Uh, Mount Top, I really want Impulse Amplifier and Lead from Gold on that first column. And then uh, in the second column, um, uh, Vorpal, probably. I would try a Harmony. I'm curious of Harmony. I really want a Sticky Spike Nade double roll as well. I really, like, I know it's un... I don't know why I'm throwing this. What am I doing? Um... I don't know. I'm farming hard for mountain top though. I I I want a perfect mountain top more than any other. If I, if I only get a perfect mountain top and not a perfect shiny any other weapon, I'm perfect. I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, I got my good. I got like a a, a nine out of ten edge transit shiny. Um, mountain top's the one I want a ten out of ten of. All the rest is like oh I got a decent LCs as well. Other than that, it's like, I would like a hammerhead, but I don't need one. I would like a Lunas, but I don't need one. That sort of stuff. Uh, Autoload and Recom, that's a completely different role, right? So I'm going for general purpose. 
uh, auto loading and recom is like the damage rotation uh, role. Um, I'll get that too if I get it. I'm not. That's not one I'm actively seeking. Um, I think Izzy's does pretty much the same thing in 90% of cases. So uh, I'm not really interested in using it as a damage rotation weapon. If I happen to get it, I will keep it. But it is not the role I am actively farming for. If I get the other one first, I uh, I will just move on. I don't really care about using it for a damage rotation. No, because once again, if, it, if I'm if I need something for burst damage, I'm just gonna use Izzy's in 90% of cases. So, um, same firing time. Izzy's does even more damage. So it's it's pretty rare I'd be using an exotic and still want a primary for burst damage. Um, Shrimp brought up like if you're using parasite, which is a good idea. I I don't really ever use parasite, but if I were to use a parasite, sure. I don't know how you can use Izzy so much. It's boring uh, because it's like the best the same way i can get a hundred thousand kills on my forbearance even though that shit is boring because it's the best that's just how i play the game i'm like a numbers freak when it comes to uh chasing high number on gun go up I'm discouraged for spending my tokens on chest. People saying the attunement doesn't work on it. Uh, I've had, I, I think it's been working for me. I don't know. I guess it's like it's hard because it's all anecdotal, right? I haven't really been tracking anything. Is this actually about to fucking die? Are you serious? Put your enemies down before they do the same to you. Don't want to talk about that. Are we going to fail a 10 farm? Oh my god, that would be so embarrassing. Caught wide, too. Shit. Shit. It's always RNG, but if I buy armor, that's guaranteed progress. Yeah, I am buying armor first. For sure, dude. For sure. Uh, I only... I need 140 more tokens for the complete armor sets, and then I'll, then I'll start spending from there. But I totally agree, like, the the armor sets, I just want to get them out of the way. I spent until I got my edge transit, and now that I have my edge transit, it's uh, armor central for sure. You obliterated them. I love okay, it. we are going to do some, some slight upgrading here. You just got the Buried Bloodline? Let's go, man. Go get that Catalyst. People are fucking loving Buried Bloodline. I, I think I might be sleeping on it. Uh, how is armor guaranteed progress like progress for what? Uh, see, that question, the answer to your question there is pretty simple. It's that you and Hoon play the game very different ways. <laughs> guaranteed like you know, collection progress and stuff. Stuff that needs to get done for players like like me who, where we like to get everything. Checklist gamers, that's right. That's right. The sickest of them all, the checklist gamers. Oh, did I attune Mountain Top? Oh, you have to attune for the quest, right? Surely I attune. You show I think. no remorse. I think I did. That's how you should be on a battle. God, now I'm fucking nervous. I didn't attune from out top. Oh, fucking falling, dude.
is he gonna fucking die? It's gonna die because both my teammates are. are if we die here, I'm leaving. <laughs> There's no way. There's literally no way. I think it just died. That can't be right. Really? All right, people from chat, where I'm doing this with you guys. There's literally no way. First two to join. Uh, just do the armor, Hoon. Just get it out of the way, dog. I'm, today's just not my day, chat. It's been an hour. It's been an hour. That's, that's what all I'm going to say. All right, let's go. Oh, I've got him. What the? Okay. Now we're farming. Are you having fun? No. <laughs> Up to this point, no. The answer is definitely no. Once you get a fucking roll going, I'll feel good. Oh, I didn't see you ask if you could join. When did you ask if you could join? You're doing fucking GMs, dog. God, I don't even know. Yeah, I know. I, I, this was instinct. I meant to do Vostok. I just fucking, it just happened with lab. It'll be Vostok from on out, for here on out. I don't even know, man. I told Kimo I'd farm fucking GMs, but I'm thinking about it and I really don't want to farm GMs. I really, really, really don't. And I know Warden's Law is cracked, but news alert, I don't play Hunter. I don't like, is this worth it? Can I just farm shinies? I might just farm shinies. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. I'm having a crisis right now, chat. I don't know, man. Scarlet, do you think the final shape or raid is going to be? You think it's gonna be close to the last wish? I don't know. Look, Joe Blackburn set a, a pretty fucking hefty expectation. Oh, that is not my rocket launcher. Um, I expect at least the witness encounter to be fucked. I don't know about the entire raid. I was thinking about this, by the way. And um, <clears throat> look, we know Tormentors are based off of Nezzy. And we know that um, Subjugators are based off of Rolk, right? Like... Uh, the witness likes to base his the, the things on his disciples, right? And maybe like the scions are like callous, let's say. Even though different species and all the lore and stuff. So what are there disciples for husks? And are there disciple or is there a disciple for husks? And is there a disciple for Grimms? And will we get to fight those in the raid? Fuck me up, please. Like, come on, that would be awesome. Thick roll? What about thick roll? Thick roll. Does not look like any of those. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just want more. I'm on super. I'm on super copium because I think disciples are like the coolest concept in, in all of Destiny, and I want more and more and more of them. Impressive Guardian. And uh, you have an we're running out of time to get more. Oh, fuck off, bro. We're running out of time to get more and more and more of them. Like, may okay, maybe Husks or Shivu. Seko, that's good. That's good. But, gr but Grim, right? Imagine like a, a giant, huge flying boss husk thing. Not a, a Grim thing, that'd be sick. That would be sick, for sure.
Do you think we'll see our first multi-boss encounter? Uh, it's not our... I mean, Daughters was the third raid ever. You know what I mean? Definitely not our first multi-boss encounter. But, um, I think that'd be kind of cool. Like, you can have, like, an attendant... A, t a big attendant and a big weaver type thing. That could be kind of fun. That'd be kind of fun, I guess. Just kind of depends. I don't really care how many bosses there are. Um... I just want the encounters to be fucking cool. I don't think more bosses equals cool encounters. This crown part... Part two? Phase two? Oh, fucking Garon? Oh, not necessarily even Garon, but the Deceptions one. Part one, even. Yeah, kind of. What role are you going for? Uh, for Mountaintop, I want a uh, Lead from Gold Impulse Amplifier in the first, Vorpal in the second, with Spike and Sticky Grenades, and a Handling Masterwork and Quake Launch. Yeah, that's what I want. What do you think the Witness Encounter will be like? I've talked about this before. I really want the Witness Encounter to be... Uh, I, I, and I, I don't know if this is copium or what. I, I want it to be at least three encounters. I would really like if it went... Like, we open the raid with a boss encounter. And then it, it is like, you know, puzzly whatever fucking encounter. And then witness one, witness two, witness three. Or do boss boss, witness one is technically like a descent type encounter. Where Tanix is there, but we're not actually fighting him. So that for the witness, and then witness one, witness, or witness two, witness three. And I just want, as we go through the three witness encounters, uh, I just wanted to go get even more, like we've seen the witness can break reality, right? Like can sh do the shattered glass thing and get really angry and, and warp and, and tear apart reality. I this want the encounters to get more and more unhinged as we go. Proud. Like I wanted to start like, we're just facing the witness and he's just kind of chilling or they're just kind of chilling and then, um, and then we do, uh, you know, we do something, you know, like a non-boss encounter to piss it off. And then the next encounter, we're actually fighting it, but it's like tearing apart reality a little bit. And then the final encounter, I just want to be like, I, I want it to be the most mind-fucky encounter ever. I want it to be like, you know, just like... I want it to feel like you popped LSD and are, are in a fucking raid encounter. That's what I want the final thing. And I, I just wanted to get more unhinged as you go. Um, my comparison before has been the Ganon fight. or I don't remember if it's Ganon or Ganondorf. I don't really understand the difference. But uh, the, the final boss fight of Wind Waker, where it's like... He fucking transforms into like a puppet snake bullshit. And then like, you know, like there's like three or four stages of that fight that become like increasingly more unhinged and then the final battle is just like a pure one-on-one -on -one thing uh i want i want the witness version of that yo miss punisher we're doing great how are you doing being a trip soul i'm so sorry shacks maxing only I, uh, I, I don't want to, uh, say too much, but I was playing with a, a Bungie employee onslaught the other day, and I taught them, uh, the terms Shax maxing, but mostly that one. I, I mentioned the trip cell as well. So if you guys don't know, there's, there's memes outside, uh, but like people who prefer, per, prefer trip mines, your trip cells. If you prefer maxing out the decoys, your Shax maxers. And so I taught them that terminology and they thought it was so funny. So it, there's a pretty good chance that multiple people at Bungie are aware of this terminology now, which is pretty fucking awesome. Shax maxing is like the greatest thing I've ever heard. That's just such a great phrase. Shax max, Shax max. Witness is an amalgamation of a species, so we can just amalgamate Tanix and become a witness protected. Ooh! If we don't get a Tanix reference in the final raid, I'm going to be so angry. 
I, I do also expect some sort of like nostalgia trip though from the final raid, right? Like they almost have to throw, I, I don't really know, but I think the mechanics are gonna be very like, look, we know the witness's whole thing with achieving the final shape is it tries to take things apart with the darkness, but it can't put them back together correctly because it doesn't have control over the light. Um, the most like canonically like lore sounds mechanic for the raid would be us taking things apart and then putting them back together in some way. I don't know what that looks like, uh, but we, we literally have mastery over the light and the darkness. That's the whole point of prismatic. And that's kind of up to the point that's been a huge part of this saga. So I would be shocked if the main raid mechanic doesn't revolve around that in some way. Us us literally making things into their final shape, whatever that looks like for us. Um, including the witness, you know? Like, we maybe we disassemble the witness and put it back together and then we can do damage to it or some shit. Like, I, I don't know what that looks like, but I, you know, like, usually, like, it's pretty surprising, um, but raid mechanics always are like super lore heavy, like always super lore heavy. Some of the, the craziest like lore references and shit in the game are like raid mechanics. I don't know how they do this or what, um, but I can't, I can't wait to see what that shit looks like for the final shape. Is it bad when I close my eyes sometimes I see Midtown and a bunch of servers? Oh, that's that's based as fuck. I'm just so excited. I the the raid is my number one thing I'm excited for in the entire final shape, like for sure. For sure, hundred percent. I'm just ready to be like fucking destroyed, you know? Oh, let's go! Bruh. I'm getting absolutely destroyed right now by this commenter. It's pretty good. I'll take eight. Okay. Watch this. We're gonna we're about to get first try. First drops of the day. Shiny mountaintop perfect roll. Oh shit. Oh shit. Never mind. We go again. Fast lock on top, baby. What does Slick Draw do? Slight increases handling, significantly decreases target acquisition. Why? Why would anyone ever, in any scenario, ever, 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 ever use Slick Draw? And why would any person ever use Overflow over Ambitious Assassin? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. What are we doing here? The raid exotic either has to be the golden gun, sniper rifle, or the travel. I, I would bet a lot that the traveler beam is going to be a part of the, the raid, and that's going to be the raid exotic as well. Just a trace rifle. It's like heavy trace rifle, probably. Holy shit, dude. Oh, I'm still void. Or oh, I'm still void. <laughs> overflow usable with no ads around, but I agree. No, because you need fucking ammo to overflow.
Do you think the uh, exotic class items will be tied to the raid? No. I do not. They're not going to put a pretty uh, fundamental part of the new subclass design behind a raid. They're not going to do that. I would bet you get your first one during the campaign and then it just becomes like a normal exotic where you can take an exotic engram to Rahul and focus for it or the Zer rework, whatever that looks like. Um, I do not think... Like, people seem to think that it's going to be, like, ridiculously hard to farm these things or whatever. A lot of people... Or that it will only come from, like, a very specific source. I, I have no reason to believe... Like, maybe there's an activity that's more likely to drop them. You know, like a, like a Vex Strike Force equivalent or something. Um, but I have no reason to... Or I see no reason to believe that they won't just behave very similarly to the rest of the exotics in the entire game. They're like, we already farm out perfect rolls of other exotics. Why would these function really that differently? Yeah, Aziz. That's what I'm thinking as well. I, I bet the raid exotic is going to be like right now it seems like conditional finality is like the perfect um prismatic gun and i am willing to bet that the final shape the raid exotic will be the most busted prismatic gun ever i don't know what that looks like or what um but i i i'm willing to bet it's gonna be fucking nutty Oh my god, I don't want to talk about that. The raid OST better go extremely hard. I bet it will. Hey, as always, by the way, the day that the OST comes out, we're going to do a live listening, a live first listening on stream. Very excited for it. It's one of my favorite streams all year, every time. On to the next fight. You didn't get your third subclass thing in four seconds until you beat the first encounter of the raid, or I think tier three blind well. Uh, yeah, this ain't forsaken, though. Also, there's a big difference between a, like, a, uh, is that true, by the way? I think you got your first one, and then you had to get, like, you had to earn your other classes or something. I forget how that works. I remember getting the Seed of Light, I think it was called. Those really weren't part of the DLC? I find that really interesting. Bungie would never do that. Oh, one from campaign? Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. I thought it was like your first one from campaign. And then, yeah, you had to farm for the other two. Yeah, okay. Well, I can see them maybe doing something like that. But... Yeah, okay. God, can you play Forsaken? That was like before I was born. Yo, thank you for the sub. You listen to animals as leaders? No. I believe I've heard that name before, but I, I do not know anything about that band. Both Witch Queen and Life already exotics were elements spe specified exotics. Huh. That's a good that's a good point. I guess it's because like 3.0s are fucking insanely broken right now, so the best way the best way to make a powerful exotic is just to make them something that ties in and makes them even more broken. Although, that being said, Collective Obligation is like... Nice. It's nice. It's a fine exotic. I'm sure it has a great personality. <laughs> um, that being said, Conditional Finality is actually like fucking busted. I love it. Hard light, but all five types. That'd be kind of broken, yeah. That'd be kind of fun. Call it soft dark. Soft prismatic. That really doesn't roll off the tongue. Hard boiled prismatic. Over easy prismatic. Last offer. Oh, sorry, Mr. Compliment. Sorry about that. 
so, so uh, as I, I said, I'm watching this really good streamer. Maybe you've heard of him. Oh. <laughs> hey, I, I hope... Uh, I think last time we talked, work was kind of stressful. I hope everything is uh, kind of calmed down for that. Collective obligation requires me to use brain cells. Yeah, exotics that require you to think this will always be worse. Just pure combat potential. Make um, me proud. Just objectively. Bob is buying tripwires. Just uh. Collective obligation is one of the only raid exotics I'm missing with eight times bonus drop rate. Then one out. I just wait for uh, Pantheon. You'll get it from Pantheon. Easy. It's for a triumph. Oh, do you have to do upgrades? Yeah, fair enough. Oh, jeez. Well, it's good that it's better. Hopefully, you're able to take some uh, time or, or you get some time to play Final Shape. I, it's going to be so hype. I, I'm so excited for the community to, like... We're, like, at a 9 out of 10 in hype right now. When the Final Shape... Uh, when the Final Shape... When the Final Shape hits, it's... Boom! It's going to be, like, a 12 out of 10. It's going to be magical. And we're all going to... It's going to be great. It's gonna be like the really happy scenes from like Midsummer, but like the happy ones before everything falls apart. We the 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 everything falls apart happened before in this case. It, it was like the last year, and now we're we're watching Midsummer backwards. So like we went through all the the horror stuff, and now we're in like the fun flower crown stuff. Before like all the old people start jumping off cliffs or whatever happens in that movie. <laughs> Taking all three days. Let's go. We, we don't actually, like, let's let's be clear. We don't really know what the fate of Pantheon is. The the roadmap is a little, dis it's, it's like, for instance, I believe it says that the Hall of Heroes or whatever, Hall of Champions is being removed as well. But we we know for a fact that uh, this onslaught in the weapons will be available after the, uh, after the final shape launches. Um... So there's all sorts of things that could be happening there. What I think is probably gonna happen is they're gonna take Pantheon away and then they just don't want it interfering with the DLC launch or the, especially the day one. So they'll take it away and then they'll bring it back. Maybe with new encounters, like maybe, hey, there's this soft launch, you get to do, you get these emblems and stuff, uh, but then they're gonna bring it back next episode uh, with a new boss rotation and a couple new emblems or something. Um, that sort of thing i would i don't know we obviously don't know for sure but i am hoping that pantheon is just like gms where it rotates every episode and you can guild and there's a new boss rotation and sometimes they bring in you know old bosses uh and you get new emblems and you get i already said guild you get the guild and that sort of thing so. another battle won on to the next fight um i got it uh but uh, yo, thank you for the sub, Mosquito. Um, just, I, I just, I can't get it out of my head that, like, Pantheon is the perfect way to bring back old raid encounters that people like when, so, like, think about, like, Argos, right? Like, what am I, why was I not getting any hit markers? Um, what? Uh, like, you, no one cares about most of Eater of Worlds except for Argos. So Pantheon could be a way for Bungie to bring back Argos and have us play that again without having to spend all the resources to redo the entire raid that no one cares about. Just like next season, I have honestly, I uh, like obviously I have no idea if this is going to happen or not, but imagine next Put season Pantheon comes out, bam, Argos is the fourth boss and we get a sick Argos uh, emblem and it's a way for the community to experience this amazing fight that maybe they never did and they don't have to waste time on bringing back the entire raid. Hopefully, eventually, if they do that, eventually they maybe do bring back the entire raids. But I would much rather that, you know, I would much rather get like Valkor and Galron and Argos now or sooner rather than having to wait an entire year for them to redo the entire raid. And that way, 
We don't have, they don't have to like remake armor or any of those weapons, like fucking most of those uh, raids didn't have like good weapons anyways, or an exotic or anything like that. It's just, you just bring back the encounter, which is the thing we want most anyways. You attach it to an amazing thing, which is, oh my God. Why would I leave the well? Am I dumb? Please don't die, boys. Please don't die, boys. What, uh, okay, we're good. Um, so. Either our world's low-key best raid? No. Um, Argos is, is definitely one of the best, like, looking and feeling so encounters. Like, don't get me wrong. Uh, but as a raid, Eater of Worlds is, like, not a good raid. Uh, it, the, the pacing is completely off. It really only has two encounters. The first encounter is, like, objectively bad. Um, I would not call Eater of Worlds, like, a, a good raid. Argos is a is a fantastic. I would even say Argos Phase One is like a pretty fun encounter. Argos itself is is almost a perfect raid encounter. It is an amazing raid encounter. But let's not kid ourselves by calling Eater of Worlds like one of the best raids. Oh, sorry, lab. Sorry, Lab, I don't know if you can see, but fucking math class is yapping over here, so I couldn't see anything. Good luck. Your opponent will come for your life. Guard it fiercely. So, yeah, and say, honestly, like, I know people want to see all of Scourge of the Past. But, like, you know, if they just brought back Insurrection Prime... You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know what their plans for Pantheon are, but it seems like a very streamlined way to bring back the best raid encounters without having to worry about the development cycles of the entire raids. They better bring back all Breath of the Machine, and I, you know what? I'll advocate. I hope they bring back all of Scourge of the Past, but we don't need all of Spire of Stars. We don't need all of Eater of Worlds. We don't really need all of Crown of Sorrow. But I, I hope... If this is actually the plan, I hope they bring back all of Wrath eventually. Um, and I would like to see all of Leviathan as well. I, I really like Levy as a raid, personally, so. Um, so yeah, that's kind of... That's kind of where I'm at. I would love for that. I really hope... So we. my point being... Yes, I know the roadmap says that Pantheon only lasts until June 3rd or whatever. I would just say I find it very hard to believe that Bungie would work on something that is seems so complex and just get rid of it after a couple of weeks. That seems very highly unlikely, especially something that the community, is, community has such a positive response to um, and could be turned into, like, near-infinite good vibes for the community, right? So uh, I, would, I wouldn't really buy into that. Um, you know, most likely scenario, they're pulling it away to, to not, so it doesn't distract from the new raid. Um, but I would be very surprised if it doesn't cycle back in, hopefully with a new boss rotation and some new rewards. So. That's where our, that's where my head's at. I'm also very excited for the prospect of a title that's you only have like one week to really earn though and it's gonna be like fucking brutal. That's sick. That's a big Scarrow, yes please. Yo, Willie, thank you for the sub, my friend. That's a big, big, big plus on the Scarrow list. A rare, difficult, amazing time. Okay, the coolest title in the fucking game, God Slayer. It's going to be unbelievably hard to get. You have to beat uh, I mean, at the hardest, you have to beat eight uh, contest mode bosses in a week. Um, that's not an easy feat. It's going to be rare. And at least initially, it's time limited as well. So it's like... Oh, fucking yeah. We're back. So I'm very excited for that. Yo, really? Get a good score. These, uh, we, you get a higher score the faster you complete the encounters. Big FOMO? Yeah, the good kind of FOMO, though. 
I keep saying like we use FOMO like it fear and for those who don't know it's fear of missing out it's a it's a tactic it's like a psychological tactic um, we use uh, the community tends to use FOMO in a completely negative light but I will stand by this until the day I die looter shooters and especially eternally online forever building live service looter shooters do not work without some form of FOMO that's how it works the whole reason everyone's loving hell divers and you know there's a there's a drive because you're all experiencing it as a community and you want to be there when all the cool stuff happens whether people want to admit it or not that is a form of fomo you do not want to miss out on all the community moments that's a huge part of destiny there needs to be a loot incentive as well fomo is very important now you can take fomo too far for sure um but I, I, uh, and, and you can make FOMO like uninteresting, but there are very, very important aspects uh, of FOMO when done correctly. So. <laughs> oh my God. That's pretty funny as easy. I'm so excited though. It's uh Pantheon's gonna be fucking crazy. And I just hope Bungie keeps uh, same thing with Onslaught, like Bungie has something truly special with Into the Light. And I, I really hope they don't do what they did with Dares and just let it die. Um I I this is such an easy format to expand upon. And, you know, it doesn't have to be part of every DLC or whatever, but once a year, add a couple more maps. You know, maybe even, like, next year, add a couple guns to this, and boom, you have you have two months to farm out purple, shiny variants of, of different guns. Um, you know what I mean? That would be just fucking in incredible and a great way. Like, it, Onslaught is such a good thing. Just keep iterating on it. Pantheon is such a good thing. Keep iterating on it. You know what I mean? Like... Execute all targets. You know. Make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. I was like, where the fuck did they go? Uh, you're wondering how we fight the witness. Yeah, I I think like story-wise, prismatic is going to be a pretty big glow up for us. I am very interested too. Like, do we face the witness as the final boss of the campaign, and then, and then the raid, and then? You know, they were spent hints that there's a post raid campaign mission too. Are we fighting the witness ten times? Like what's happening here? Or is the final boss of the campaign Shivu or like what are we is Shivu's probably at this point I I have uh definitely fallen uh I, I've reversed my opinion. I was very convinced there's no way Shivu made it out of the final shape. I now believe Shivu's gonna be the main focus of heresy. Um Like what does this look like? What are we doing what are we doing? So I, I'm very curious to see how they, they structure everything. I think it'll be a, a cool part of the campaign if they do it correctly. I could I think it can be very enticing. And I do hope we do we find more disciples. I think disciples are really cool concepts. So. Six Guardian activities are awesome. We don't have any right now. Wellspring Six Guardians? No? Wellspring? Technically raids? Dares? Yeah, six. Who's doing Wellspring? Uh, I don't know, some people. I bet I could queue into one right now. It's not really a great activity, but I'm just saying they exist. I don't know, I've always been more enticed by the three-man activities personally. Bungie should make a solo seasonal activity. <laughs> Maybe add new factions. Oh, oh, enemy types you mean. I thought, you know, everyone still has the copium for like dead orbit and stuff. Uh, I, I thought that's what you're talking about. I like, I'm kind of over the faction thing. It, they were never really that fun. Uh, let him die. You know, this is like one of those everything was better in Destiny 1 type things, I think even though everything was definitely not better in Destiny 1. I feel like factions are like a relic of that. 
Uh, I know, and sorry, I know you. I'm going on a ta tangent. That's not what you're talking about. But I, I don't care. Uh, so. Gambit was better in Destiny One. Well, the Secret Room in the Hall of Champions has come forward. That, yeah, I know. They're, they've they've had references to them forever. I just don't know. Who cares? Like, you know, what, what could Concordat possibly do that, that matters? We're literally facing the end of everything right now. Concordat's like a guy who's angry, you know what I mean? Hard fought victory, Guardian. It's like a disgruntled employee, like, oh, fuck. Whoa, buddy. Supposed to throw that. Guardian down. Oh, boys, are you serious? <gasps> Please respawn. Today is just not my day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm having a bad time. We're doing mid tunnel. What do you mean I threw? My two teammates died, bro. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me about throwing, okay? Aw, oh, who left? Wobble left. Bro, do not put that on me. Four things had to go wrong. Wow, why did you leave? Come back. Yeah, I was thrown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. This is a gauge of pure combat. This is just toxic, attention. man. Make me proud. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Man. Okay, 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 okay. Someone join. If you would like. No promise. Or, uh, no, no pressure, I mean. Can you join in progress, actually? Is it gonna, will it let people do that? Temple run, it's out of the window, I know. Fucking hell. I will get my perfect god roll. Man, wave one being servitors is fucking rough. I don't have my super rolling yet. Alright. Fucking hell. I just want to get some smooth farms in, ladies and gentlemen. We got this. We got this.
Oh shit. I can't wait to see my first shiny mountaintop. It's, I think it's gonna be a truly special moment. I think I'm gonna cry a little bit. I'm gonna panic a little bit. Definitely gonna panic. There's because there's no way you get it on the first try, right? But there's always that like got some what if in your head. Like, Good. oh my god, what if I just get this here and I don't have to worry about this anymore? Um that'd be pretty insane. <laughs> Oh, fucking sorry. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Got a shiny business assassin frenzy. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What the hell? How the fuck did that guy just die? Demo recon. Um. Yeah. That's, uh, for me, that's probably a delete. But, uh, you know, if it works, it works. Good roll for mountain top. Here, screenshot this real quick. This is what I'm going for. Second perk in, uh, for impulse is lead from gold. Yeah, I'll take it. No, I'll take it. I'll take it. These are good memes to have in the back pocket. Yo, Sod, what's up, buddy? God damn, dude. These yellow shanks have so much health. Man, I'm vibing. It's been a good week. It's good to be back. It's good to put so much time in... Or, like, feel like I can spend so much time in Destiny farming and... Oh, I thought... This is a little sniper. I thought he had to finish him. Um, uh, it's, it's been good. I haven't felt this positive about Destiny in a very, very long time. And it is, uh, it is a, it's a very nice feeling. Best your opponents and survive. Victory is a matter of war. Wait, the roll I just said was your first roll? Are you serious? Bungie should make a depth shiny weapons for the new raid. I totally agree. I don't think they will, but I totally agree. I'm looking for a for gold recom. Uh, I think recom is only good if you're doing like a dangerous rotation. But if that's what you want, go for it. Excuse me, go for it. So we're trying to get auto loading or overflow. I think overflow is an overthrow. Um, I would, I mean, if you want, if you want overflow, I would just get ambitious assassin. I think it's just better, but that's just me. Um, Light from gold is good for like damage rotations, but I think uh, impulse amplifier is better because it gives you the extra reload. That was pretty, that was pretty clever. Like, come on, you have to admit. Everyone has to admit that was a good one. Oh my God, dude, I'm fat fingering. Hold on. Impulse does not increase damage. Uh, that's why I want Vorpal in a second. Uh, impulse amplifier is velocity is faster. It applies a reload scaler to sense as a GL and plus 20 reload. Plus, I think uh, advanced is plus five more reload, if I'm not mistaken. So it draws best in slot. Yeah, true. Hmm. <laughs> 
I just want overflow so I can rocket jump more. Um, I just think you're much more likely to be in a situation where you can kill an add and get two in the slot uh, versus overflow where you can only get a, and plus with ambitious, you can always get three. Overflow, you can only get a max of two. Um, and you need amp, there needs to be ammo on the ground. So if like there's ammo on the ground for you to run over, you probably just had adds to kill for ambitious assassin anyways, right? I can't think of many instances where there'd be ammo and not ads. Why not Frenzy over Vorpal? Uh, Cause Frenzy with Impulse Amplifier is kind of... Frenzy A has a weird activating condition, does the same damage as uh, Vorpal. Um, no and the main other way. benefit is it gives you reloading, but if I'm running Enhanced... Uh, enhanced Impulse Amplifier, you know, I get the, I get the increased velocity and the inc crazy increased reloading. And then I can just uh, get the same amount of damage with no activation from Vorpal. Kind of the best of every world. And your handling is still absurd on the gun. So go for a handling mass work. You can pretty much max out, almost max out, velocity, handling, and reload. Um, and still have a constant 15% uptime. And hopefully lead from gold in the second column. And hopefully sticky nades. So you can still use it for traversal too if you want. Switch off a spike. I'm going for a very, very uber-specific role, and I'm not sure if I'll get it. Um, I really hope I do get it, but I I'm not sure I get it. Best you know what I mean? Opponents and survive. Victory is a matter of will. Uh, static one is like auto loading one for all. I think it's a pretty bad rule. I can't believe we made it through ten rounds. This is crazy. We're so fucking. We are. We are them. Oh, went from gold one for all. There you go. It's like that. Pretty pretty mid roll. Alrighty, perfect odd roll right here. Boom. Fought well. Nothing held back as it should be. So we run it back. God, I'm gonna be farming this for so long. A billion fucking hours. Here, I'll go over. I'll probably just have to do this for us tonight. <laughs> Every time I uh, I go in, we fly in, I'll just bring in the god roll. This is what I want with lead from gold in the second there. Yeah, I, I like bipod for this because um it's better for ad clear. I can just use my rocket for ad clear and it's fine. I don't really care about the first boss because it's easy, so... And remember, this is general use. So the whole, the whole point of this role here uh, that I just showed God. is to replace forbearance. No limits here. Yeah, I want stickies a second with spike. Yeah, bro, that's fucking crazy. How did you get my god roll? What the frick, bro, that's so toxic. Also, I'll buy your account for twenty bucks. Because <laughs> uh, with impulse. It's, it's just faster than auto loading. Like uh, it has a 0.85 scaler on your reload plus 25 reload with enhanced uh, impulse. It's just faster. It's, I mean, auto loading's 2.5 seconds. This will be like 0, 0.0 seconds. So right now I use forbearance for ad clear and I have to use a primary for single target damage like majors or whatever, anything that's annoying at night or whatever. With Mountaintop, I could use Mountaintop for the single target thing and a little bit of ad clear too, and traversal, and then use my leave most ad clear to my secondary, which uh, like primary weapon, which primary weapons are better at ad clear than single target damage anyway. So I can Mountaintop plus Sunshot or Mountaintop plus Ikelos or Mountaintop plus Lunas or Zallies or whatever you want to put there or Recluse or whatever is better than like Fate Bringer or Midnight Coup and Forbearance. In terms of general, all around, just playing Destiny every day of the week. Mountaintop, 
fills a much more difficult role than forbearance. Uh, and then you can build into like infinite restoration builds and have like, once again, Sunshot. Like, I know Sunshot won't be buffed anymore in a couple weeks, but it's still fucking broken. Uh, so is Zowie's, or you can get a Luna's with um, Heal Clip and uh, Heal Clip and it has a damage perk. What is the damage? Incandescent. Uh, Heal Clip, Incandescent. Broken. 20. Make it 22.5. I have uh, placements in low hands. Oh, that's how many it took you? Oh, oh, that's how much that's how much you want it. I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, man. Sorry. Uses bipod for more ammo as rockets do decent damage and activities. Yeah, exactly. Hard fought. Exactly. So like I get 12 rockets here, and they're still pretty good. And normally, like if I'm farming 50s, I'll switch to my I'll switch to bait and switch. Uh, I've got another rocket. But uh, this is farming tents, so the first boss is like a pushover. It doesn't even matter. Um, so I'll, I just I just use this for ease, but I can just use it to clear ads. So anytime there's like a survey wave or something or a captain wave, I can just rocket the whole thing, and then it's we're we're done. It's fast. I haven't got to try LCs in Crucible yet. I got a really good LCs roll that I'm excited for. Um, just shiny one. Keep away Desper Despacito handling. It's I would prefer for this to be um, Head Seeker, but I'm, I'm really excited to try this roll out. Supposedly Elsie's just feels gross in a good way, so. Yeah, Spy Pod gives a lot more reserves, like 40% uh, more, maybe or uh 90 percent more it's a lot 80 percent it's not it's more than 40. i think i can normally hold six on this rocket and i like up to 12. but i don't think it's quite 100 percent this area did single target damage and callous mini tool on solar yeah exactly like forbearance is just going to clear heritage but this is exactly what that's the exact type of scenario i'm going for here where I can really lean into the 3.0. Um, that scared the shit out of me. Uh, I can really lead into the 3.0 primary weapons and just focus on single target and traversal with non-com. Very powerful combination. Very, very powerful combination. Especially on solar. Nah, I mean, Heritage has been a fan favorite for fucking years. Maybe nowadays, primary shotguns are a little less common now since they, uh, they fixed the, um, Quick draw glitch. But Heritage and Philo were both like goats for a long time. The pro the only problem with Bipod is it decreases your damage by a lot. Uh, but for an activity like this, it doesn't matter because I still like, you know, I still chunk, oh. This is a gauge of pure combat. Uh, this rocket's reconstruction by bomb, but this is this is a rocket I made exclusively for this mode. Every uh, everywhere else in the game, I use reconstruction bait and switch. Destiny's so fun right now. Completely agree. It's the most fun I've had in a long time. Onslaught needs to be in charge of uh, <laughs> lead of seasonal activities. You know, it's really funny. Um, you know Noah. I am uh, the yeah, thanks guy at Bungie. He worked on he worked on this. 
he also worked on deep dives and coil. So like, I, there's obviously a larger team there. He's only one of, uh, uh, you know, many activity designers, but his fucking portfolio is fucking crazy. Uh, so, and I know Ash worked on this as well. Um, I don't know if they uh, also did the uh, the other two with Noah, but all I'm saying is is they know what they're doing. The last seasonal activities have been fucking crazy. Whoever did Onslaught two uh, or uh, Altars of Sorrow and Sabathun Spire or Altars of Summoning in Sabathun Spire, whoever did those as well. Like the, this year's activities have been great, with the exception of like the the Battlegrounds and Defiance. Those were just whatever. Um, everything uh, and salvage. We don't talk. About this. But everything else has been fantastic. Ooh, no luck so far. Noah is. Uh, I believe he's the one who made the spikes in coil as well. He made that tech. He's just working on a lot of stuff. He, I think he just knows what, what gamers want. And, uh, just going for it, which I uh, obviously very much enjoy. Ooh, fuck you know. I need a coffee. I need an advance. I mean, I need an advance GG. Code's here 9, 10% off. Let's go. Exclamation point advance in chat. I think there might be a buy one get one sale going on right now or something. Yo, uh, Fang, thank you so much for the sub. Uh, remind, reminder, if you are just joining us uh, to enter the fucking collector's edition giveaway that I had pulled up and now I have stupidly, I did not pin. And it was probably like an hour ago, so uh, let's go. I don't know if I can scroll back through chat that far. Best your opponents and survive. Victory is Shit. a matter of will. Okay, I gotta find the link for that again. I will once we're flying in. What's the second best second column perk? Um, I'm interested in harmony. Recombination is really strong. I mean, frenzy's not bad. It's kind of redundant with impulse amplifier. One of those. If I don't get verbal, I would probably want um, recombination. I way missed that grenade, that's kind of embarrassing. But see, even with bipod, like, reduced damage, right? Well, thanks for her, uh, thanks for subbing and thanks for the support over, over the, the years. Appreciate it. All right, do we get I thought to any shiny Is that a miniature sun? But it's no. transit. It get out of here. Raining lights on your opponents. I love it. Let me find that um that link real quick for you. I want Bungie to consider shiny weapons going away. The drop rate's terrible. Will be. I think these ones should go away. I do think they should implement this across different parts of the game. But if they walk it back now, it's gonna be a bad look. They need to really. I think they need to commit to it. Enjoy yourself, guys. Um, and they need to commit to the drop rates and stuff. I would like to see a guaranteed one after 50, and I would like to be able to reset shacks for a couple more chances. But. Um. But I do think that they should take this the overwhelming success of Shinies and, and use that as evidence that they need to roll these in other parts of the game. Raids. Uh, put it put fucking Shinies in Master Raids, dog. Fuck Adept Weapons. I do not even care about Adept Weapons. Put Shiny Weapons in Master Raids. A chance to get them. Um, I will play the shit out of Master Content. I do the Master Raid exactly four times. Well, one complete and then all the encounters... Uh, to, to get my title and I never touch master again 
Uh, you put shiny weapons in there. I will farm it all the goddamn time. Yo, uh, Nevin, thank you for the 39 months as a mega chicken. Let's go. Um, accidentally bought two of the collection editions, so I got an extra. Would love to donate it if you want to do an extra giveaway. Um, let me think about that. I wouldn't even know how to do that, man. The first legend, 50 wave per week should give a guaranteed. I would be fine with just like, if you make it through 50 waves on legend, just to get one. A sh one shiny an hour does not seem unreasonable to me. I don't think they should tr increase the drop rates anywhere else. It just feels bad doing multiple 50. Like if I'm farming 10 waves or whatever, um, it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't deserve guaranteed ones. This is like the most brainless farm ever, right? But there needs to be a reason to farm Legend over 10 waves, and that could be it. Um, and I just don't, I, I don't feel like it's unreasonable. I don't think drop rates need to be increased. I would like to see a, re, a reset uh, from Shaq so you can, you know, still earn reputation and, and get more chances there. Um, and I would love to see a guaranteed one at 50. Legend specifically. But other than that... It hurts when you get a shiny for a weapon you aren't in tuning. I know, dude. That is actual Spain without BS, for sure. That's what I'm saying. They, I feel like they should really expand this shiny concept. It's such a, it's exactly, it's, you know, Destiny's version of Pearlescence almost, you know what I mean? Uh, it's exactly what Destiny needs, and um, I would love, 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 and I think the community would to uh, see Bungie expand on it. It's such a cool Hard idea. Victory, Guardian. Demolitionist. Is this the big, the big ones? Yeah. I still, even though this is bipod, uh, I still proc it like it. switch yo chill Recla yeah i would like to see i'm so glad i'm so glad none of these weapons are are craftable man they uh they definitely made a choice there and i'm glad they did i i am so against crafted weapons i have been pretty much since the start i uh you know if you want to make some of the seasonal ones crafted or use crafted weapons to bolster like old raids that's fine like the deep stone ones and stuff they crafted weapons should never be top of the slot and crafted weapons should never ever 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 come from new raids ever ever come from new raids um i feel like crafting has has killed a lot of people's motivation and drive to farm things in this game for sure Hundred percent. Uh, they have been very adamant on Twitter about not increasing drop rates. No, nothing official, but some of the individual devs who have worked on on Into the Light um, have made like very explicit comments that they are not increasing drop rates. Will Final Shape have no crafting? I have literally no idea. I would be kind of shocked if it didn't have any crafting. Um, I mean, they haven't really said anything about crafting. I, I don't expect them to really walk that back. But I have no idea. Yeah, something like that saw. Like, yeah, you get one bonus chest, but I would, I would really like to see out of 50 as well. Like, more, maybe, uh like four or five chests from that final room. Just something, some reason to differentiate Legend apart from normal. Because it takes about the same amount of time to do 50 waves uh, in, on the Legend versus 10, 10 wave resets. It's, it's almost identical uh, amount of time. And the only difference is you get one extra chest in that time from Legend. That's it, that's the only difference. Uh, and uh, I just, I don't think that's enough incentive. And obviously the entire population doesn't feel like that's enough incentive because everyone's farming 10 waves, so. I'll, uh, I'll talk about the role after this run, one sec. Execute all targets. 
And make sure you're still standing when the yeah, I mean, you get alloys, but I don't. I feel like anyone who's seriously going for 50 has been maxed out on crafting materials since, like, they were born. I feel like uh, sending out alloys and, and prisms and shards and all that shit, like, I just feel like that's not a good... At least not for me. That has never been an incentive to farm X activity, except for, like, GM Nightfalls back in the day. But it's not like I'm, I'm running dry on crafting materials. I, I haven't been ever, you know? I used to enjoy trying to get the great roll, but sometimes, but somewhat useless now. Yeah, I mean, and that, that's like, I talk about this a lot. Like, um, you know, crafting weapons can be good and it's fine if they're good enough so you can complete anything in the game, but never make, like crafted weapons should be like a 7.5 or an eight out of 10 at max. They should never be 10 out of 10s. There are far too many best in slot crafted weapons right now. If you want best in slot, your ass should have to farm for it. And I believe that. Uh, I think it's healthier for the game. I feel like it's healthier for the, the players, like in terms of like how we approach the game and how we think about the game and, and that sort of stuff. Um, maybe it's not objectively healthier for players like me. <laughs> like physically healthy, but uh, I, I think that's truly better for the game. Any 10 out of 10s, you should have to farm for it, personally. And I know, like, especially, like, you know, all the PvP guys don't really like that. I know Kami Cakes is, like, a big proponent against that, but, um, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh, PvE, I think, has, has largely suffered because of the lack of uh, incentive to go farm things. Um, this might be, like, crafting might be a, a pretty big instance where, like, I and mean, crafting isn't only the benefit of PvP, but it's definitely a really big benefit to PvP. It all it all clearly benefits PvE as well, but uh, this kind of feels like one of these things where it's like, you know, PvP might have to bite the bullet, or just make like good PvP guns that suck in PvE, and you can still craft those. I don't even give a fuck. need bad block protection um maybe on some things you sure i think i there's there's bad block protection on things like raid exotics i think are good but like on let's say the shinies weren't limited time i don't think bad block protection would be good on them. personally i don't know i just i'm kind of a freak when it comes to this shit though i've like real like notoriously bad opinions about this stuff so <laughs> Got a shiny, spike sticky, oh fuck. Impulse uh, ambitious, that's pretty fucking good. Vorbal recombination, mass or handling. Oh god, damn bro. We don't talk about the barrel. Did you get, did you at least get like a uh, hard launch or, or quick launch? What'd you get, what'd you get, what'd you get? That's like a fucking juicer roll though. If shiny was just a shader, I wouldn't care as much, but I want multi perks. So a lot of people were saying this, but like, why? Multi perks has like zero. Now that they're fixing the cascade thing, multi perks doesn't have additional, unless like you're getting like lead for gold. Yeah, like that, like sure that does. But like, just like get two of the gun. You know what I mean? We're getting a hundred more vault spaces. There's no way you need 600 vault spaces. So just like get two of them, you know? What's the best guns to do two for? It really depends, uh, you know, what you play the most. For me, it's Mountaintop and Edge Transit. My brain won't let me keep more than one of a gun. Uh, yeah, that's like an issue, dog. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's not really a bungee thing. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I get it, I guess. I'm kind of doing the same thing, but mostly for utility. The lead from gold thing, but. What's an extra vault space? I'm still fucking crocking this, goddammit.
I don't know. But if that's how you want to play the game and it makes you excited to go farm, like, that's per that's obviously fine. That's great. Oh, fuck, man. Two in, like, five runs. That's crazy. Why the fuck is he laughing? I'm, I'm, what? Is it because he died? I don't think I've seen that before. <laughs> Have you guys seen Shaq's laugh like that before? Uh, I've not seen of the well skate combos. I've seen the ground skate combos from on top. Gods fall before you. <sighs> Dude, that was super toxic by Shaxx. That was awesome. I like me some uh, toxic Shax. Oh, nope. <laughs> That's awesome. The grind's awesome. He laughs because I got grabbed to finish the torment there. Oh, they, he laughs when you get grabbed? Have you been watching the Fallout show? Yeah, we've seen the first two episodes. Very good. Maybe stupid question, but what do the shiny weapons look like compared to the normal ones? Uh, you can, if you go to the shiny weapons, you can see. So like this is shiny edge transit. So it's just like, a, it's just got like the Burgusia Knight on the butt. Or whatever, the green one. Rasmussen, whatever the green one was, and the shiny tip. They all just kind of look like that. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You guys don't even understand. The The second the final shape launches, everyone's going to be launching into the campaign. No, uh, I'm going to be launching in the tower. I'm going to look for the lowest guardian rank I can find. Two or three. And I'm going to flex my shiny weapons. Look what you can't get. And, uh, you know, the... Uh, the... the Damage buff that everybody forgets about on the shiny weapons is the emotional damage buff. Plus 100% emotional damage. And it's going to be great. It's going to be perfect. So that's something I'm really excited about. Oh, you're forcing the traveler? Yeah, try to try to keep me away from flexing on the new lights. Good luck. Good luck. I only hold a non-shiny god roll until I get a shiny god roll. I uh the I auto delete all not shinies. I do not care. I'm not interested. Bigger number equals better person. My number is three percent higher. Now, one hundred percent emotional damage, Wobby. You're you've got minus. You have the minus ten percent copium buff or debuff. Excuse me. Uh, for the mount top god roll, I want um. Let me go over between runs. This with lead from gold in this column as well, and sticky nades. I can go over it further, but uh, adept impulse amplifier or enhanced uh, impulse amplifier. And uh, purple weapon is my life. That's my fucking unicorn. God, I'm so excited for fucking final shape. Can you guys? It's it's like six weeks away. It's insane. I go to Hawaii to next week. I come back the one flight. month until the final shape. Holy sh we are almost there. I remember the day 
like in January, like January 2nd or something, the fucking, the, the leaks where it was like, there's going to be delay started coming out. Oh my God. I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to live until the final shape. I'm going to fucking die. There's no way. That's so long. And then like Bungie's like, uh, we got you actually. We're gonna release like banger content after banger content after banger content. And actually the best content that you've played in like fucking two years and uh, it's gonna make the wait seem like nothing. What? What, where the, what the fuck? How did this happen? It's awesome, but like what? And if Final Shape is just around the corner. I'm, you know, I'm gonna take off all Tuesday, all Wednesday, probably just those days. Um, and then the raid day, of course. I'm gonna be such a, I'm gonna be such a degenerate, man. It's probably gonna be more like Riven's Wishes. I have never been so happy in my entire life to be completely and utterly wrong. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What's the reason beyond enhanced impulse? So impulse amplifier has a 0.85 modifier on your reload plus 25 reload as well. So it reloads way faster than auto loading. Um, it also almost maxes out your velocity. And because it, it uh, does a ton of reload and velocity, you don't have to worry about, um, mostly the reload, you don't have to worry about frenzy. And then you can put Vorpal on there instead with the handling max work. And that way you get very close to almost max handling, max reload, and max velocity with a free 15% always active damage buff. Um, this is a general... Um, this is a very, very, very general use mount up. This is not for use with damage rotations. This is uh, my forbearance replacement mount up. Uh, can you find out the raid date with your connections? Unfortunately, that's not how it works. I wish. Uh, I would just assume it's going to be the Friday after, but um, my my connections are not allowed to tell me stuff like that, unfortunately. So, and most of them probably don't even know it. Doesn't Enhanced Vorpal just give plus five? I don't really care about the Enhanced part of Vorpal. Uh, yeah, Enhanced Vorpal is pretty shit, though. Don't get me wrong. I care about the, the always up 15% damage versus, you know, Frenzy, which has a combat activator. And if I'm using this on like a speed run build, won't always be active. Or if like a boss just spawns, won't be active, that sort of thing. Um, whereas Vorpal's eternally active. If I get like an auto loading uh, recombination one or something, I will, uh, I'll, I'll hold on to it for potential damage rotations, but um, similar. I want this mountain top to fill my forbearance's role, or or swap flip with my forbearance. So forbearance is add clear, and then I use my primary for like single target. I want to flip. I want to use mountain top for single target and use my primary sunshots, alleys, Ikelos, whatever for add clear. I think it'll be a much more powerful all around build. But use it in the instances where I would use forbearance now, which is not in damage rotations. Um, at least not very often. It's always a Friday after the first reset. I wouldn't say always. I would, uh, you know, and this one might be different because it's going to be such a big thing. I'm just going to like, you know, I, I, I would be ready to take that date off. I'm sure we'll find out far in advance. I would schedule a lot of time off because it's probably going to kick your ass. This raid is, I expect to be like brutal. I'm very excited for it. I can't wait to be a fucking degenerate. And uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a good time, man. We're so close. We are so fucking close. We are so close. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, I see, I see. I didn't know Enhanced Impulse gave that much of a bonus reload. It's usually enhanced is put usually just plus 25. The thing that makes it crazy is on grenade launchers, you get a 0.85 animation scaler as well. So it's just, it just, you know, that's not even enhanced, that's just regular. So if I get like an, a, a regular recom or a fucking uh, impulse, I'll, I'll show you, I'll, I'll, I'll use it real quick, but it's fucking, it's fast.
I'm, I'm just gonna have to make a video on uh, on what Mount Topo. People are so interested in Mount Topo. I'll just make it a little short, explaining myself. It's a good idea. You all better watch it, even though I'm explaining it 200 times. That's your that's your that's your way to make. I don't mind explaining it 100 times, but just give the, the video. It'll be like a 10 second video. Give it a, give it a look. Give it a, a like and a watch and help that algorithm boost it. And uh, I'd really appreciate that. Help out the channel a lot too. The videos have been kind of popping off lately. I'm not gonna lie. People, it's so nice when people like Destiny because it's like the videos do well and I like doing it. And that makes me Impressive feel better. It's like a nice little you loop have there. For so. Oh no, I haven't gotten a shiny yet, so. I haven't gotten a shiny yet, so the verdict is so far no, no verdict on, the, on getting it. Uh, I would hope enhanced auto loading is not three seconds because regular auto loading is 2.5. So it'd be pretty embarrassing if the enhanced version was worse. Uh, it's probably two. Right? Is it two, Wobby? If you're still here? It's probably two seconds. Why are we talking about the enhanced perks? I thought Brave Stuff didn't get enhanced perks. No, the, the Brave Stuff, once, uh, once Spinal Shape launches, will get everything from uh, March. Every new weapon from March onwards gets enhanced perks. Once Final Shape launches. Brother! What the fuck? It's 2.3? Oh, it's like... Is there no way around this? I've never seen this one before. I've seen where the portals don't spawn. How'd you fix it? I didn't even, I totally forgot that was there. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Bro, I've, I've, I've used fucking Sunshot like all week. This has never happened to me. How'd you fix it, Maths? Fuck. Fuck. I 
I've never seen that before. That's shit. Triumphs for shine needs to know. No. Your opponent's pretty annoying. Your life. Guard it fiercely. This weekend, I'm gonna farm so much mountaintop. You guys don't even fucking understand. It's uh, I gotta make a lot of videos. I wanna make like three or four videos. By the way, what are videos you guys wanna see? Why? So I'm I'm away Tuesday to Tuesday. Monday Monday to Tuesday, I'm away. Um, what videos do you want to see next week? I'm trying to make like four or five and space them out. Yeah, the oracles are time gated. Yeah, I'll make one oracle video uh, once they are all released, and so you'll just be able to get them in one go. Vaults cleaning tips. I'm the wrong guy for that one. Want to see a video about how good slick draw is? <laughs> Outbreak uh, is the first weekend of May. First week of May. Nah, I, I hope Gambit does get ghosted by Bungie. I don't want to get it. They should just take Gambit, remove it from the game, and replace it with this. I'll guild Brave every season. I don't want to guild fucking Dredgen anymore. I kind of have to. I'm like, I'm, I'm already locked into it. You know what I mean? Oh wait, are the final three? definitely next week then i actually Remind probably won't be making like an oracle more. video i didn't think about it but i'm on vacation next week so i wouldn't be able to post it until the following week and then it wouldn't get any views. so actually probably no I, we don't know for sure that it might be two 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 in one the final week right if it's two 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 and one, then I definitely will do a video on all the on all the oracles. If it's two two and then we get all three of the remaining oracles next week, then I'm not going to. Tier list ranking how hot enemy combatants are when they're rolled up. Uh, well, S plus tier is Hoon whenever him and I are arguing. Definitely like S plus tier for sure. I was thinking maybe like rank all the seasons. I think that could be like a fun little video too. I know Dado did it. I haven't watched it. I'm gonna like specifically not watch it. Uh, and I, I think I want to rank all of it. Maybe a tier list instead of ranking them. I feel like a t the tier list format. I I the ranking thing is like more m my format. But I think the tier list when you can see everything I've done and you can see it in context is actually a, probably a little more helpful.
And you doubt they'll release one Oracle by themselves? Well, my thought was the final Oracle seems like it's like on the, the Vex portal. So if it's like two, 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 and then the final week, you just get the final one and then go into the portal and you get to do the thing. That, that seems like a very Bungie thing. Plus that, then that would drag it out. Cause it's whisper for the next, uh, uh, zero hour is in the first week of May. So that means it is, we have three, it's four weeks from today until outbreak. So that gives three more potential weeks. It's a very bungee thing to, it's like four weeks of whisper. It, it, it's not a very bungee thing to do like secrets on three and then an empty week. It's a very bungee thing to do secrets on all four weeks, right? Where you have something to do every single week. That's like the most bungee thing I've ever heard of, you know? I would love to be wrong. Actually, I wouldn't. In this case, I want, I want to be right. Because <laughs> I want to make a video. This is a gauge of pure combat potential. Make me proud. Oh, maybe Eric. That'd be kind of cool. I would love a tease. I, I really liked the tease in, uh, in Starcross. I love stuff like that. Wait, because it's like right now that doesn't make any fucking sense. But once we get the story like implication, then we look back then we're going to be like, oh, huh. That's fucking cool. <laughs> you know, the, the future content puts in the context that the past content i think i love when bungie does stuff like that or just media does stuff like that and then in the future you're running it again and then you see it and then you're like, oh yeah that's like that's fucking sick remember if you haven't entered for my collector's edition giveaway the link's at the top of chat i'll ship it anywhere uh don't worry about where you live i'll pay the i'll put the bill for the, the shipping. Uh, and best of luck to everyone. It's pretty simple to enter, so. It's just Yakov's portal. Why did they change it for no reason? No, they wouldn't. They they wouldn't, for sure. Very gold titan, I respect it. I think the hunter was gold too, right? Yeah. Ah, gold bitch. Very cool. Yes, you have to do the quest for the guns to start dropping. It's pretty fast to do. You just I'd put on Sunshot and go uh, either do this or fuck up Shirochi or whatever. Shouldn't only take a couple minutes. You can smell shiny. I fucking hope so. I'm hungry. I'm hungry for a shiny. Another battle won. On to the next fight. Oh yeah, the Whisper Green Room, now that it's 40 minutes is even better. I didn't fucking, that, I don't know why that has not occurred to me up to this point, but 40 minutes is crazy, holy. That's actually insane. And now you can use like restoration and stuff so you don't even have to worry because you don't gain health down there or you didn't used to, I don't think. Or maybe I'm thinking of other throwaway. I think you should do a Warlock remake. No, no. <laughs> I do not remake very good. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
I'll think of stuff. I got, I have three video ideas here. I would like at least four, I think. Like one every two days, I think would be. I think that's safe. Best your opponents and so. survive. Victory is a matter of will. Yeah, Warden's Law is pretty fucking cracked, man. If you uh, are on a hunter with Lucky Pants, Warden's Law is the highest DPS primary in the game. And it out DPSs a lot of fucking heavies, too. It's pretty nuts. <gasps> OMG. Oh, brother. Holy. Everything dies, guys. Oh. But when you're around, it happens so much faster. Alrighty, I'm gonna call it there for now because I am fucking so hungry and I'm very tired. Um, def uh, prop yeah, almost certainly a stream tomorrow. I'm gonna be going so hard on these weapons, so it's like I want, I want the perfect mountaintop. I don't, want, I want like legitimately a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a seven out of seven mountaintop. Um, the only thing I don't really care about is the second, uh, the second perk in the in the in the second column or in the Vorpal column. I just want Vorpal. Whatever else I get there is fine. Uh, and other than Quick Clutch, I don't really care either. But I definitely want Spike Nades. I definitely want Sticky Nades. I definitely want Impulse. I definitely want Light from Gold. I definitely want Mastering Handling, uh, Mass Handling Masterwork, Mastering Handiwork. Uh, so I'm gonna be fucking going. Go the giveaway go do it everyone have a fantastic night love your face i'll see you very soon peace see you, everyone